Alright, let's get out of here. But of course, without finding the rest of the trainers first. Unfortunately, we have to clear this whirlpool again. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of curious as to how Claire actually uh, crossed that whirlpool. Maybe she just has a... Ooh, we found a Dratini in here. Yes, you can find Dratinis in here. But uh, I'm actually kind of curious as to how uh, she had a Pokemon that knows Whirlpool, unless she taught it to one of her Dragon Pokemon, which I think would have been a pretty silly move. Of course, a Magic Carp. Ah, I did not mean to hit that. And we can't escape from a Magic Carp. A Magic Carp that only knows a completely worthless move. You have got to be kidding me. All right, here we go. It's a stranger we don't know. Ooh, look! Someone just appeared right in front of us! <laughs> Alright, so we got twins. Leah and Pia. They're gonna start off with a Dratini. Unfortunately, this Dratini is far higher than our Dratini, so I'm just gonna have to switch it out to uh, Lapras. But hey, at least it's worth uh, getting the shared experience, that's for sure. A Dratini with Flamethrower! Yikes! So unfortunately I'll just do uh, normal effectiveness, but... Luckily Lapras' part is uh, Water and Ice, so that's what's making Flamethrower do just normal effectiveness. So we'll get a bit more extra experience for Dratini to kind of start us off. And they're gonna send out yet another Dratini. Same level. But hey, it'll be worth uh, getting the extra experience for Dratini. Uh, my Dratini! We'll switch right back to Lapras. Oh, this Dratini has Ice Beam! Look out! Unfortunately, it's not gonna do that much. Just three damage. Let me show you what a real Ice Beam is! Oh... You're in deep trouble. Whoo! I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> Ouchies! Ouchies indeed. Alright. So now we gotta head over here. Now we gotta face off against her. You shouldn't be in here! Oh really? Why don't you talk to the old man outside? And hey, Claire just passed through here, why don't you try talking to her? <laughs> cool trainer Kara. She's gonna start off with a horsey. Horsey! Horsey! Okay, so Dratini is getting close to leveling up, but of course, uh... We don't necessarily need to use, uh, Lapras, but I think I might as well, because... Lapras is, of, of course, my best Pokémon right now. Uh, besides Suicune. I mean, I know it's kind of a shame that I'm kind of leaving out my uh, legendaries, but I want to do it without using any legendaries at all. Just kind of add to the challenge. And I can't believe that Body Slam didn't even take it down in one hit. Oh well. Dratini grew to level 16. Alright. And now she's going to send out a second Orsi. It's always best for you to try and get those uh, questions answered the best way possible, like I did. Because this Dratini is a lot more worth getting if it has extreme speed to it. It's a completely buffed up version of Quick Attack. It's actually a very good move. Unfortunately, it has 5 PP, so... But that move is worth it. Pretty good, nor really, really good normal type attack. Alright, horsey. You're gonna meet the exact same fate as the other horsey. It's just gonna keep on using Tweetster, Tweetster. While I keep using Body Slam. Okay, there's a bit more experience for Dratini, and now she's gonna send out a Seedra. So this ought to be a pretty good, pretty good uh, experience boost for 
for uh, Dratini. Well, as a matter of fact, I think I might as well just go ahead and uh, take advantage of those uh, vitamins. Not only do vitamins really increase stats, but of course, like I said earlier, they increase friendship. So I think I might as well go ahead and just use them. I thought I'd like to just use them just to kind of add to the challenge, but... Maybe if I were to actually stream this game one day, then maybe I would. You know, do a no vitamin challenge. <laughs> I mean, but then again, I probably could have gotten Eevee much sooner than we probably had a good chance of evolving before this time. Ooh, a swift attack. You know, evolving Eevee much sooner than, uh, you know, before thir level 36. But... I might do that if I were to actually stream this game. I might I might do it like that, but we'll see. Okay, so that's the amount of experience we get from half, and that's the experience, you know, the rest of the experience. Now Dratini's at level 17, so not a bad start. Oh, yikes, I lost! Yes, you did! I know, right? <laughs> but now that we have... Uh, Waterfall, we can completely explore Mount Mortar. And that's going to be the next stop. Oh, we get a call from Professor Elm. Hello, Chris. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. So, gotta keep that place in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head towards... Uh, head towards Mahogany Town. Fly right over to Mahogany. So that way we can be right next to Mount Mortar. Go ahead and uh, heal up my Pokemon. Now I may have to, uh... Now I'm definitely going to have to deposit my Krabby and my, uh, Dratini. So it can get, uh, Goldeen. Which, of course, Goldine knows water. We'll have to know Waterfall. Okay, so I have to deposit your teeny. And my Krabby. So I'm going to have to get uh, Goldine here. As a matter of fact, uh, Mount Mortar is another place that, in that involves having us an extra slot in our Pokemon party. So I'm going to have to leave one slot open. And I need to make sure if I did not teach Waterfall to Goldeen. Yeah, I did. Alright. You have to definitely teach Goldeen Waterfall. Let's see. Uh, Tail Whip. I know it really doesn't matter which move I get rid of, because I'm not going to be using Goldeen for, for battle purposes. But, I mean, I like to have offensive moves, of course. <laughs> Alright. Let's head right back to Mount Mortar. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna need. Uh, before I forget, good thing I, good thing I remembered. <laughs> I need my Sudowoodo back, so I'm gonna definitely need to uh, use strength in order to get around Mount Mortar. So let's see which one I should get rid of this time. Ah, uh, I definitely want to keep Eevee with me. Ah. Uh, you know, let's deposit Crobat for now. I don't think I really need to uh, fly anywhere, because besides, uh, Mount Mortar is right next to both cities. Both Mahogany and, uh... Uh... Ecruteek, so... Don't think I really need to have Golbat through this. But still, I like to keep... One slot open. Alright, let's head right back into Mount Mortar. But for, there's a couple things that we can actually get, uh, either the left or right entrance. But if I remember correctly, we can get the rest if we were to uh, jump down uh, from the ledges that we couldn't get up to. So I'll have to go over here to the middle entrance. Because the middle entrance is actually where you're supposed to go. Okay, so of course I'm going to have to use a, uh, you know, use the repels again. Alright, here we go.
And here's the waterfall. Get up there. Just like that, we got up there. <laughs> Alright, sweet. And of course there are some hidden items in these areas, so I'm going to have to uh, try, to rem try to remember which ones they are. Because we got that Hyper Potion at the entrance, and I need to uh, remember where we could get another one. Okay, there's one in this area, but it's, a li it's in a little bit. But first I need to surf over here, because over here is a rare candy! That'll definitely come in handy. Heh! <laughs> the rare candy, which will come in handy. There I go, rhyming again. And hey, I'm not even trying to do this intentionally, just bear with me. I'm serious, I'm not trying to do this intentionally. <laughs> okay, so we got a body of water that goes to nowhere. But this one does go somewhere. Definitely need to go ahead and take this way. Because here we have yet another item. We got a max potion. Sweet. And as a matter of fact, I need to go the other way, because there was that trainer. I need to go and uh, fight him. And let me see, I need to see what my Pokemon up front is. Uh, Eevee, I don't want to uh, risk it getting a level up, so... Let's get Quilava in front. I need to raise my Quilava. Here we have a trainer. Yo! Marcus! Uh, is he trying to find, for, look for someone? <laughs> Super nerd Hugh. He's gonna send out a Seedra. Level 39 Seedra. Uh, if it's not gonna be using any water type attacks, but let's see. That's how much quick attack does. This may be a bit risky. But then again, uh, this is gonna be a... Of course, I missed Quick Attack. Uh, I may as well just go ahead and switch to Lapras. Maybe a bit too over level, but then again, it's uh, kind of what you expect after having to defeat Claire in order to get to this area. I accidentally used Ice Beam, but that's okay. Uh, but I missed anyway! Seriously! How come it really works for them when they use this move? I'm just, I, seriously. I mean, because I'm actually looking at this... Ooh, paralysis. Nice. Because I'm actually looking at the strategy guide here, and they kind of messed up on the strategy guide. Like they said, that the uh, trainer with the Needle King and Needle Queen, they're at level 37. That's what that says in the guide. Of course, we fought them. They're both at level 17, so that's a... Complete mistypo. I wonder if they did that because they thought, oh, that Seedra is level 39 whenever you go up the waterfall path. <laughs> I wonder if they did that as, like, some sort of mistake. Oh, well. Sorry, my mistake. Well, excuse you, then. <laughs> Alright, so now we've taken care of that trainer. Now we can head back over here. Up. Oh, I need to continue on along here. <laughs> We go over here. Again, yet another body of water for us to cross. Now we have to head over here. And the repel auto already wore off. Good grief. Stop that. Because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of stuff that we can get inside Mount Mortar now. It's going to be quite the exploration that we're going to be doing. Okay, over here is TM40. And what is TM40, you might be asking? Well, let's take a look. TM40 is... Defense Curl. Heh! <laughs> useless! Defense Curl. <laughs> Definitely a TM I'm not going to be using. Now we get across this body of water. We go up here. Is an escape rope, but I'm gonna have to uh, look around here because this is uh, next to the area where we can find a hidden item. And it's in a it's in a boulder in a uh, 
a narrow passage. So we're not next to a narrow passage with a boulder. It's going to be over here. Right over here. Here we have a full restore. Awesome. And if we go over here... We get a dragon scale. That is an item that requires a... A Cedra, a Cedra to hold. If you trade it, if you trade a Cedra while it's holding a Dragon Scale, it'll evolve into a Kingdra. So if you'd like to get a Kingdra, well, there's your chance. <laughs> and luckily, we can jump down and just use a body of water to get back around. And here we have an Elixir. So very good stuff that we can get in here. All right, now there's uh, only uh, two more hidden items that we can fight here in all of. That we can find in all of Mount Mortar. Here's yet another item that we can find right here. It's an iron. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go over here. The repel already wore off. We're gonna be taking a lot of steps in order to get around Mount Mortar. <laughs> and hey, since I said uh, every Pokemon friendship requires 256 steps, steps in order to increase. It's going to be doing that quite a bit. Okay, so I thought that the hidden item was right there, but it's not. So we're just going to have to keep on going. So this path splits. Uh, I have to take this path over here. Ah, here we go. It's a Max Repel. Well, hey, at least we got a Max Repel for free. So I can actually use that. And if I drop down, I don't want to do that. But of course there's an item down there. But we can get that a little in a little bit later. And here we have a Max Potion. I mean, of course we can get the items from down here, you know, using the other entrances. But I need to get all the stuff that, you know, requires Waterfall in order to reach. May as well go and get all that stuff. Okay, here's yet another item. It's a Max Revive, but we can't carry any more rats. So let's see. Uh, I forgot to uh, put uh, some of these items in the PC. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, keep going back and forth a little bit to make that Super Repel wear off. And I'll go ahead and use the Max Repel. I mean, hey, it's a good way to use up some of these steps. All right, Repel wore off, and I'll use the Max Repel. Max Repel... right here. Of course, Max Repel is not worth buying. Here's the Max Revive. Definitely go with the Super Repels instead of the Max Repels in terms of buying, because not that many steps in uh, comparison to between Super Repel and Max Repel, but Super Repel is much cheaper than Max. Okay, so we have to go down this uh, ladder, and there is an isolated boulder. Here's yet another Max Revive. So that's all the hidden items that we can find here in Mount Mortar. And where am I at right now? I am right over here. And if we need to get out of here, here's uh, where we can use Strength. But we need to head over in this direction. This is the main reason where you want to come over to Mount Mortar. Go ahead and uh, save all that so we won't have to deal with getting all those items again. 